Now our application is finished, it's properly debugged, and we even run the static analyzer on it. So almost ready to distribute this app. The final things we need to do include adding an application icon, actually several icons, and launch images. Now even before your app is ready for release, you shouldn't procrastinate about the selection and installation of a graphic image as the app's icon and the launch image, both of which you add directly to your project. The app's icon is the small icon displayed on a user's home screen. The artwork for this icon should be similar, if not identical, to the larger icon you provide during the submission process to represent your app in the App Store page. You also need to provide the launch image, which is the very first thing your user sees when the app starts. This image should look very similar to, if not exactly like, the first screen your app is supposed to display. In fact, that's why we are using the background image of the Earth, because that is the first image that the My World app on the iPhone is supposed to display. And as you can see here, we've put the gray status bar at the top of the image. So for the app icon, specifically for an app that runs only on an iPhone or iPod Touch, you need to add to your project two versions of the app icon as PNG graphics files, a 57 by 57 pixel version and a 114 by 114 pixel version. For a universal app that also runs on an iPad or for an iPad app, you also need to add to your project a 72 by 72 pixel version. When iOS displays your app icon on the home screen, it automatically adds rounded corners, a drop shadow, and a reflective shine. So you don't put those in your icon. You let Apple do that. For the launch images, include the status bar region, as you see that I have done in the middle image there for the iPhone. And by the way, the large image on the right is for the App Store. Apple shrinks that image down for the App Store page. For the launch image, which I have in the middle here, you basically need to add two versions of the launch image as PNG graphics files for an iPhone. A 320 by 480 pixel version, which is for earlier iPhones, and a 640 by 960 pixel version, which is for the iPhone 4's retinal display. For the iPad, you use a launch image size of 768 width by 1004 height. And that's for the portrait or vertical orientation. Now for both the iPhone and the iPad, if you provide only one orientation, such as portrait or vertical, the launch image is used for that. If your app supports multiple orientations, in other words, portrait and landscape, or vertical and horizontal, then iOS uses the default image unless you supply a second launch image. Now the graphics requirements for app icons, launch screens, app store icons, and the rest are a little too detailed to provide here, and they may change over time as well. The best place to find information about this is to go to developer.apple.com library safari navigation. That puts you in the Safari developer library, and if you drag down here, scroll down here, you'll see iOS Human Interface Guidelines. This is the document you need to read. Not only does this document include the iOS User Interface Element Usage Guidelines, but you can also read about iOS technology and how to use it properly. It even offers case studies for transitioning to iOS. But most important, it provides the custom icon and image creation guidelines for app icons, etc., and launch images. So here we are back at the My World app which includes, of course, the iPad version, My Pad World. And we have closed the utility area here by clicking this so that we can see the entire summary of our target, My World. And here we've selected, of course, at the very top, My World and the target, My World. And we have in the summary pane here the information we need and the places where we need to put our app icons and launch images. So if you see something else, such as info or build settings, you need to click the Summary tab to see this section right here. If you click the Project, that's not good enough. You need to click the Target here. So let's scroll down to the App Icons, and we see that we have here for iPhone, the device orientations that are supported, and the App Icons, and the Launch Images. We also have a section for the iPad to do the same thing, to add the App Icon and the Launch Images. So we have images for both versions of this universal app. So we've brought up our graphics folder with our icons. They are PNG files. And in order to add the app icon, the first one, the 57 by 57 pixel icon, and this is the icon for iPhone 3G and 3GS models 
as well as iPod Touch models that don't have the Retina display. We drag that into the image well here. A little plus sign appears showing us that it's going to drop it into the well. Next, we see the Choose Options dialog. We want to copy it into the Destination Groups folder, just as it says here. We want to make sure it's adding to the target My World, and then we want to click Finish. There's our app icon. Now we want to go back to the Finder here and find our next image. We need the 114 by 114 pixel version of the icon for the Retina Display iPhone 4. And again, we take this image here and we drag it to the well. A plus sign appears and we drop it. We get the same Choose Options dialog. And again, we copy it into the Destination Groups folder and we add it to the target and click Finish. So as you can see, it's very easy to add the app icons. And it's just as easy to add the launch images. As we go back to the Finder and find our images. We have an image one, which is for an ordinary iPhone. We drag that in, click Finish. And we drag the other image into this well and click Finish. So now we have our icon that are going to appear on the iPhone screen and our launch images that are going to launch as soon as the app is launched. And if you run your mouse over each one, it tells you all about it. The high resolution launch image displayed for apps running on an iPhone and iPod Touch, 640 by 960 pixels inside, whereas this one is. Launch image displayed for apps running on iPhone and iPod Touch 320 by 480 pixels inside. The main icon for apps running on the iPhone and iPod Touch 57 by 57 pixels in size. And the high resolution version. Now, as you can see, all we need to do is continue the process and do the same thing for the iPad versions. Now, let's assume we just did that. And we're going to run the product on an iPhone. So we'll make sure it's set to iPhone. And we'll click Run. And sure enough, the image appears, and you saw it jump a little bit because it isn't quite the same image, but the image appeared immediately, and now it's running. If we quit the app, we see our new My World icon not only has rounded edges, but it has that nice little reflecting thing, and it has a little shadow as well. And we didn't have to do any of that. That's what Apple does for us.